we've both seen enough leaders to know that uh, sometimes the person that's born with the aptitude or has the pedigree, so to speak, uh, they get lapped several times over uh, by someone that just just digs in and takes a bite and just doesn't let go. Right. Absolutely true. And, and the message of the book is, first of all, that most of us have this very deep belief that great performance comes from a natural gift. The reason some people are so incredibly good at what they do is that they were born with a gift. And it's a one in a million thing, we believe. Uh, most people don't have it. And so the reason we think, the reason I'm not a world-class great performer is I was just unlucky. I wasn't born with that natural gift. And so, you know, I'll never be a world-class great performer. But the fact is, you know, Tiger Woods was born with it, is what we think. And so that explains why he's great. And, and an awful lot of us tend to believe these things really deep down. And so some people I found actually uh, react badly to the thesis of this book because they don't like being told that what they believe isn't right. But the research is very clear. Uh, what makes great performers great is this particular kind of activity that, they, that the researchers call deliberate practice. And it's not what most of us think of as practice. Um, it, it's not what, as I say in the book, it's not what I did when I would go out to the driving range on the golf course and hit some balls because there was no uh, design to it. It was just me hitting some balls and uh, I didn't have any instruction. I mean, I had had some, but, you know, and it was doing me no good at all, which of course I already knew, but still it was doing me no good at all. Deliberate practice is a few things. It is neither work nor play. Um, it is a category of its own. It's activity that is designed specifically for you at this point in your development as whatever it is you're trying to become. It is designed specifically for you. Uh, Second, it constantly pushes you just beyond what you're currently able to do. And that is the heart of it. Constantly pushes you just beyond what you can do. It doesn't try to push you way beyond what you can do because then you're simply lost. You have right. no idea. And it doesn't let you operate within your capabilities because then you don't grow. So it is constantly pushing you just beyond what you can do. And as you're able then to eventually do that, the deliberate practice must be designed to push you a little further. That's why it's always being designed. It can be repeated at high volume. That's another thing that makes a big difference. If you're able to repeat it at high volume, uh, it's much more effective. Um, and you get lots of feedback, which seems obvious. You can't get better if you don't know how you're doing. Uh, and yet feedback is often missing in a lot of what people do when they think they're practicing. So if you put those things together, you get this activity, this behavior called deliberate practice. And it is doing that in some cases for hours a day, every day for years that makes truly world-class great performers.